Hello everyone, this is Renee the Fox, and here we are at 2 a.m. Go team! So is this like a permanent boat store? The hell was that sound? Hmm. Oh. Hi. So, Foxy, how's it going? You don't seem to be killing me, so, uh, hey. Do 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 do. No, I can't board. Ah. Okay. Well, time to find out if that was a permanent boost or not. <laughs> well, now we know how Foxy works. So, it looks like maybe... Short Flash to see if he's in there. If he is in there, then hold the door closed for a while. Then do a short flash if it's a flash you're safe. Oh, it's not a permanent boost. I figured. But so then that really only applies to people who are like good at this game. It's like a bonus for being good, but then if you're bad at the game, you're gonna die and. I guess it's like for if you're like replaying and you just want to like speed through it and it's like a little two hour bonus. That's nice of Scott to do that. Maybe they're Chica. <laughs> so scary. So, so far, all the animatronics we've seen. have been animatronics that were shown in like the teasers and trailer. So I guess the question is, when do we get the new ones? Because it's always... Animatronics that weren't shown in like the teaser trailer. Hmm... I did not hear any breathing. Good lord. <sighs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on. Got any spreadles built up yet? Nope, alright. It's only 12 a.m. Just wait for a bit. Alright, that's enough waiting. <laughs> mm hmm. So I recently realized that uh, during the tutorial Okay, that was not Chica Well, 
I didn't hear any breathing. Guess that's my fault. Hmm, yeah, I realized during the, uh, tutorial that, uh... Never actually said that, uh, the breathing mechanic applies to the closet or the, um, bed. And based on what I've seen, I don't think it does, so, uh... No more waiting for those, that's good. Also, it seems like the, uh, fettles... You can just, like, shine a light. Like, it seems like... Every se- every, like, like, they have some sort of timer. Yeah, that's breathing. Hey, Foxy. <laughs> Foxy's in the closet. Lol, 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 that no one's ever heard that joke before. There was his hook. That's cool. Aww. Alright, time to get rid of the fed. Ooh, jeez. Okay. It's Foxy again. Ugh, three then. There's that. Can't tell if that's like spring trap or. Me fettles. All right, it's three a.m. We're halfway there. Questioning whether or not I should look up the cause of Cupcake. Eh. If Cupcake jumps me one more time, I'll do it. Cause I... Hmm. I think, like, Cupcake is just caused by, um... Not close to the door on Chica, but I'm not entirely sure. I feel like maybe, I don't know... Figure out exactly what it is causing it. That'd be cool. Anyways. Oh jeez. That was in the closet. I'm assuming it's Foxy. Remember from that day when we did this Foxy? I would just stroke like you. Those are fun times. Okay, bye. Well, there was my first Freddy jump scare. That's fun. 
So I guess all four animatronics are jump scaping now. Fancy Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy. Great. Hmm. <laughs> All right, time to get rid of the finals. Hmm. They can't get into the room. That's interesting. So then I assume that, like, the, so Bonnie can get into the room. And I assume that, like, the cupcake is, like, Chica getting into the room, maybe? Ugh, I'm looking it up. Alright, hooked it up and I have confirmed that. The cupcake is an alternate cheeky jump scare. Oh, Jesus! Well. Okay. I guess Foxy can get into the closet without. All right. Can we just appreciate this title screen? Like, what even is this? Are they like... Is this like a pile of junk? Or is this just them all like, Hey, here's a house! Let's haunt it! My computer sucks butt, sucks butt, sucks butt, sucks butt. My computer sucks, 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 sucks butt. My computer sucks a bunch, sucks a bunch, sucks a bunch. My computer sucks a bunch, it sucks a bunch of butts. Okay. Alright. Kind of getting bored of dying over and over again. Ugh. Fuck it. You know, I'm not sure Five Nights at Freddy's games are a lot more fun when you know what you're doing, to an extent. Like, it could be fun to just go through the game and be good at it, but when you're just, like, starting, they're kind of really annoying. Because it's like, you know, there's definitely this, you know, I definitely understand how it's like, oh, dying repetitively and not knowing what you're doing, ooh, so scary, but I don't know. After a while, it, it goes from like, it gets sort of starts to get tedious. Okay, then. Yay! I haven't seen Bonnie recently. Still no Bonnie. Well, there's Bonnie. <laughs> wow. Don't you a quick one, Foxy? Whoops. Ah, oh, well. Ah. 
That would be enough. Yeah. Can get rid of the fire infestation. Okay then. This game is very interesting. Kind of goes in a very different. It's not like um. It's definitely not like uh, the third game. chance to play it. Hmm. Hmm. That's what it's Okay, yeah, but now that I've gotten a chance to actually play the game, it's it feels a lot like kind of a mixture between the first game and the second game. Because, like, it's kind of like the first game, because you really just have, like, the four main animatronics, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. I assume at some point, um, Fred Bear makes stomach, face, mouth. Fred Bear makes stomach mouth, he's gonna come in at some point. I assume Golden Freddy's here somewhere. And, uh, I don't know, maybe just, uh, surprise appearance by Nightmare Marionette or Nightmare Balloon Boy, I don't know. Why not? Scrap Calathon's got something in here that's gonna be terrifying, I'm sure. I mean, obviously he has stuff in here that's terrifying, I've already seen it, it's everything. <laughs> But it also kind of has that, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 feel, with, like, um, the sort of left light, right light, middle light kind of thing. And then the Freddles are kind of like the marionette, how, like, they work on this timer that you need to, like, kind of constantly, you need to constantly, like, turn down their timer while their timer constantly goes off. Kind of. Although I guess with the marionette is the other way around, his time is constantly going down and you have to like, bring it back out. But it's the same basic... ...thing. You know, I thought I heard breathing, but I wasn't sure. So those were footsteps? Yeah. Of course at the same time this game also sort of has its own distinct feel due to the uh, lack of cameras. And I've not seen Foxy at all tonight. It just seems a little weird seeing as he's such an active little... At least he has been. What if I'm just run as... Twitchy, I believe? Speaking of, uh, combination between FNAF 1 and FNAF 2... The Foxy mechanic is definitely... He, like, jumps you from, like, the middle area if you don't deal with him enough, so that's very FNAF 2-like. But it, he also seems to basically have the, um... 
FNAF 1 sort of gameplay thing. Where, um, he's basically going from stage to stage to stage, and if you don't, uh, close the door soon and... If you don't, like, he basically goes from stage to stage and only you can... You get what I mean. And I think I've already... Mention that this game has its also own sort of distinct feel due to the um, lack of a camera. Hold on. There we go. Should have listened for breathing. I didn't do that. That was my bad. Wait. No. <laughs> I think I heard. Yep, definitely is when you close it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't want any of your pamphlets, Foxy. Get away from me. Hmm. Aw. Alright, get rid of the feathers. Go check on Bonnie. Go check on Chica. There we go. Does Bonnie just not make walking away sounds or? Hmm. Mm. Ugh. Did you get rid of the fatal fesses? Fesses, this, 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 this. So flashing lights are like a visual version of uh, the alarm sound from the first three games. That's interesting actually. This game is so, uh, well, maybe not. Ah, uh, well, should have closed the door. I should check on the federal so if it's like, yeah, might as well. <laughs> Alright, last time we left our intrepid, well, I don't think that this kid who we see in the cutscenes is the same kid as here, because his room is different. Two days until the death party, great. Aww. Aww, that's not nice. He hates you! 
You have to get up. No, I don't. You can get up this time, but you have to hurry. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. No! Don't you remember what you saw? The exit is the other way! Hurry and leave! But when I went this way, purple guy... Oh. I like... Um, why do you have a plush trap? Where's your plush toy? Mine is pretty bonny! I definitely said that to be careful of him or I'll pinch my finger. He's a finger trap. I should have a toy like that when I was a Ah, uh, why is he right now? Why is he right there? I should have a toy like that when I was a kid. It was the worst. Why is he a flower? You better watch out. I hear they come to life at night. And if you die, they hide your body and never tell anyone. Oh, why do you look so worried? It's the end of party. <laughs> what has happened? Aren't you the kid who always hides under the table and cries? <laughs> no one else is scared. Why are you? It's not like such a baby. Jesus. Can I, like, walk under the road and get run over? Balloon child! You go to the party? Everyone's going to the party! Oh wait, you have to go! It's your birthday! <laughs> Why don't they so mean to me if it's like my birthday? Why don't you have eyes? What? <sighs> Why are you a flower again? Oh, now you're alive. Well, be careful! I don't know, man, because, like... God damn it. See, I was just kind of wondering about this. I think I started to talk about it, but then I got distracted by anything. But I'm actually starting to wonder whether or not this guy is actually, like, a dick. Or if he's just, like, trying to, like, relate to his son or little brother or something. And going, like, hey, surprise! And just like pressing up as like Foxy, because I don't know, maybe Foxy was his kid's favorite. Maybe he's just like trying to bond with the kid, but like doing it in. But he's just like really terrible at doing it. I don't know. It's a possibility. Okay. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that this room looks nothing like my room in the main game. Which leads me to believe that this kid is not the same kid as the kid I've been playing as. Because Scott Cawthon has always been pretty good at, like, getting stuff to look the same. Because, like, in f the FNAF 2 little minigame very clearly took place in the FNAF 2 restaurant. And, like, the FNAF 3 minigame very clearly took place at the uh, FNAF 1 restaurant. This place doesn't really look like the, like, it doesn't look like a, like, like the house. It looks like a different house. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then that, and then another kid had like, had the, uh, Spring Bonnie plush toy. <laughs> Which makes me wonder if, like, maybe there are just like multiple kids involved somehow. Like, so that one little girl was like, is like the fun with plush trap kid, and then maybe another kid out here is like the, the main kid, and then this kid is like a third kid. I don't know, it's possible. Anyways, tomorrow is another day! That's fun, that's fun. Uh, that sounds like a good time to end the episode, uh, Renata Fox, signing out. <laughs>